everybody, it's Charlie from Daily Motor, and today we're going to go for a quick drive in Volvo's V60 and talk about why I love using Volvos and driving Volvos and having Volvo vehicles for our highway road trips. Before we get started, let's hop out and take a quick look at this car. This is the new, please excuse the highway noise there, this is the new Volvo V60, rocking the V5 powertrain, it's technically the V60 cross country, because you can no longer get uh, a non-cross country V60 without getting the Polestar. So this is uh, this is all you get in terms of V60 here in the United States. If you do want to see more on the car, check the link in the description. We've got all sorts of videos because we've been really, really happy with this car. This has actually been one of our favorite cars of the year. But today I want to go for a quick drive over to DMHQ and talk about why we love having Volvos. Doesn't really matter the model. Any Volvo, why we love having it for highway road trips we take. So if some of you may or may not know, we are fortunate enough to be part of the vehicle press pool, if you will. So we get access to a lot of different cars here around the Metro Detroit, Michigan area. And it's pretty much everything. We get stuff from Kia Rios all the way up to, for those of you who, who saw, we were fortunate enough to get a Rolls Royce Cullinan for our wedding earlier this year. So we have access to quite a lot of vehicles and that doesn't mean we can just eeny, meeny, miny, mo pick the keys to any car in the new car market and take it out and drive it like it's ours. But it does mean that with a little bit of preparation, a little bit of lead time, we can send out requests to the manufacturers and be like, hey, uh, could we have a Volvo V60 for a certain week, a certain test, certain video, trip, etc. And oftentimes the manufacturers are happy to oblige as long as we provide content. When it comes to any time that I have to go for a road trip or Alyssa and I are going for a road trip or Christopher Brower is going for a road trip, Volvos are near the top of our list. And that's it's kind of not telling the whole story. Really, Volvos are near the top of our list for cars overall. This V60 has been, as I said at the beginning of the video, one of our favorite cars we've had in all of 2022 for all every kind of driving, for commuting, for driving pretty much everything except for driving spiritedly. This car's really been great. It's practical. It's decently economical. It's so comfortable. has one of the best sound systems we've ever listened to. So there's a lot going for this car. But more specifically, when we go out on a highway road trip, there are different priorities. I really don't care about how sporty a car is when we're just gonna be cruising on the highway. Things I want, I want decent efficiency, I want quietness, I want a comfortable ride, I want an excellent sound system, and I want the car to just work. I want it to not have noises that are constantly popping up, I don't wanna to have to be fighting the steering wheel or anything, I want the infotainment to go to work straight away, I want the least amount of car that I have to deal with, the better when I'm cruising on a road trip with my wife. I just want to get in and drive the vehicle, get to where we're going, and I want the highway portion of the trip to seem as short as possible. And that is what Volvos do so, so well. You get in this thing, especially with the new B5 plug-in, or not plug-in hybrid, but mild hybrid powertrain, when this thing starts up with the stop start, right now the car's off, you're gonna hear, in fact, I'll just do it right now, I'll take my foot off the gas. You barely even hear the engine start up because it's got a 48 volt mild hybrid system, starts the vehicle right up with a generator rather than a little starter motor. It starts itself up and then there's plenty of torque from this turbocharged two liter engine and a very smooth eight speed transmission to get it up to speed. It gets up exactly where I wanna be going and then it cruises there. Things that make the driving so easy head-up display. It's got a very nice, simple, but effective head-up display. I'm not sure how well it'll show up in the camera, but it's pretty much just telling me my speed and then the speed limit. If I want to see more, I can look down here to this great, simple, but again, informative gauge cluster screen. I've got digital speed, analog speed. I've got the gear I'm in. I've got a cool map functionality in the middle. So everything in my driver cockpit is very straightforward. On top of that, the steering is just the right amount of light and precise. It doesn't take much. It's not fatiguing to drive it around. Very simple and straightforward. Throttle inputs are very smooth. And I find this interesting, no drive modes in the V60. So it's not like you want to get on the highway and, oh, do I want to be down in eco mode to be getting a little better fuel economy? Do I want to be in normal, comfort, smart? No, nothing. It's just get in, start the car, and get going. 
Then while you're on the highway, while you're driving after it's been a few hours, these seats are very customizable and they're very supportive and comfortable. They don't feel like the squishiest seats right off the bat, but that's a good thing. It's kind of like being on a mattress. There's a reason why memory foam mattresses aren't very squishy necessarily. Sometimes they're kind of firm and hard, but that's because it provides support and these seats are the same way. You have adjustments for thigh support, four-way lumbar, the uh, outer bolsters you can adjust in and out, and then of course all of your other more normal adjustments. So the seats, even after a few hours in the in the seat, I wasn't finding myself moving around, I wasn't moving my legs around. It's a very normal, comfortable seating position for the entire drive. And then all the different controls. Very quick and straightforward to turn on heated or cooled seats, both for me and Alyssa, someone who had just gotten in the car, she's like, oh, heated seat control right there. Also dual zone climate control, that's kind of given at this price point in this day and age. But then you have this excellent Android Automotive screen with CarPlay built in now. And the Google Assistant works so well that say I'm just driving along, I don't even feel like taking my hands off the wheel, I could say something like, hey Google, turn the temperature to 72 degrees. All right, changing the temperature to 72 degrees. So straightforward, so easy to do. And you could do even more than that too. You could go, what's the weather like today? Currently in Ypsilanti Township, it's 56 degrees and mostly cloudy. Today, there'll be showers with a forecasted high of 61 and a low of 49. Super straightforward. Don't need to be fidgeting with your phone, anything like that. Driving along and it just does it for you. Then we're up at highway speeds here. We set our cruise control and you have one of the best semi-autonomous features on the market. I don't know if it's gonna kick in until we get up to the main highway up here, but it, it's one, it's probably pretty darn similar to Tesla's autopilot is about where I'd rank it. So not quite as good as Chevy's uh, GM, I should say, Super Cruise, and not quite as good as Tesla with the full self-driving beta, but probably on par with about Ford's Blue Cruise and Tesla's autopilot. Look at this right here. Well, it's just starting to see the lane. There we go. It keeps itself in the lane and drives itself like you would a normal car. And you can just kind of casually drive and it does a great job at it. Up here at highway speeds, even with the sunshade open, pretty decently quiet. I'm happy with it. I will say, I think the sedan is probably a little bit quieter. I noticed just a, a bit of a cavernous experience from the wagon model. I don't know if that would be enough to push me out of the wagon or not. I like the functionality and the appearance, but something to keep in mind. One thing I do appreciate about the wagon in this cross country form is having sidewall on the tires. That helps when you're driving over broken Michigan roads, it absorbs the bumps, so a mixture of the suspension and the tires makes it so even the most broken sections of highway feel relatively smooth, especially at the price point in this V60. And then of course, one of my favorite things about road tripping in Volvos is the sound system. Fortunately, this V60 is equipped with the Bowers and Wilkins sound system and it's one of the best ones that we've ever tested. I swear they just keep getting better year in and year out. The Volvo 60 and 90 models have essentially my favorite sound systems on the market. The only one that is close right now that I've tested recently aside from the Rolls-Royce Cullinan is the BMW i4's Harman Kardon system. That one is quite good as well. But this is so good at having various adjustments, crisps, crispness, power, envelopment, precision, everything's there. And I love being able to not only when I'm driving by myself, really crank it up and rock out, but this weekend when I was driving with Alyssa, we had music going at a, kind of a quiet volume, but it was still, it still sounded so good and was so crisp that we still enjoyed listening to the music and I enjoyed listening to it and felt like I was getting my full money's worth even though we were listening at a lower volume. And a really great sound system does both of that. It does high volume well and it does soft listening well. To wrap it up, what makes the V60 and any other Volvo great for highway driving is the ease of driving it. And the, the ease, the comfort, and the element of almost forgetting that you're driving. It's, it, it makes a highway trip simple. Things like the blind spot monitoring being effective, but simple, not, not intrusive. I, I can turn my blinker on and make, a, make a, a merge even if my blind spot monitor is still on and the car doesn't freak out, it doesn't beep at me. It's not beeping when I turn cruise control on and off. Oh, 
Where are you going, Mr. Truck? Let's do one more little demo of the highway driving assist here. Look at that, taking me right around the corner. Pretty darn good. And then after a minute, it'll pop up and, and say hold steering wheel, and then you just give a little, a little input, and you're back going again. The lack of annoyances, I guess is another way to phrase it, of why the V60, and, and any Volvo, is really so good for highway driving. Admittedly, if you're doing a longer road trip, there's not going to be a ton of space for putting things. There's not a lot of room right here. There's not wireless device charging in this V60 model. I know some of the newer ones and the larger ones have it, but I will I will give you that. There are definitely vehicles that have more interior space for putting snacks and sunglasses and water bottles. But all in all, for two or three people to take a highway road trip, I am grabbing the keys to a Volvo just about any time I can. I should also mention fuel economy. We averaged 31.7 miles per gallon over about 400 miles of driving, mostly highway, but some slower speed roads as well. I think we got 34 miles per gallon in our highway fuel economy test with this car, and that was just cruising steady state 70 miles per hour. Unfortunately, you do have to put premium fuel in these Volvos, so that does take away from the efficiency argument a little bit. But when you're talking about luxury vehicles in this sphere, not that bad of a figure. And with a fairly large fuel tank, you're getting something like 600 miles of range when you're just putzing on the highway in a car like this. That is really nice for road tripping as well. So a little bit of a different video there, a little bit out of our usual testing regimen, but I just kind of, I wanted to do a breakout video on Volvos in general and why I appreciate being in them for so long. It's just such a nice, thank you. That's that's really good. It's, so, it's such a nice place to be for an extended period of time. And there really, there aren't many other cars that have such a nice blend of simplicity, comfort, functionality, all together just to make an experience that I would gladly take week in, week out, anytime I need to travel, I like doing it in Volvos. Thank you so much for watching. If you do want to see more on this V60 or any of the other Volvos we've tested, check the links in the description. Take a look at Daily Motor, search for Volvo, whatever you want to do. We've got a lot of Volvos we've tested. And we'll see you on the next one. I'm Charlie from Daily Motor, and as always, drive on. Mm -hmm.